Now we are going to move. We are going to go to the archipelago. I never used to say, I used to say archipelago, the Shona way. We are going to the archipelago and then see what this environment is happening and how people are hustling. People are doing very well with the environment. It's not good. It's not fair, really. Over 500 ethnic groups speaking more than 1,000 distinct languages and dialects call Indonesia's more than 13,000 islands home. Across the archipelago, Indigenous peoples have lived in harmony with their land, forests and oceans for centuries. Indigenous peoples in Indonesia comprise approximately 70 million people. Aliansi Masyarakat Adat Nusantara, the Indigenous Peoples Alliance of the Archipelago. Aman is a representative organization that consists of a central governing body with 20 regional provincial chapters, 99 local chapters, three wing organizations representing youth, women and lawyers, and four autonomous bodies. Aman represents 15 million individuals from 2,230 indigenous communities across Indonesia. Aman's mission is to empower, advocate for and mobilize indigenous peoples of the Indonesian archipelago to protect our collective rights and to preserve our cultures and environment for current and future generations. In an era of challenges including poverty, climate change and conflict, Aman provides innovative solutions by utilizing indigenous values, local knowledge and solidarity to promote social justice, ecological sustainability and human welfare. Indigenous knowledge is a strong enabler of sustainable development. This and Indonesia's continued transition to representative, democratic government supports the recognition of indigenous people's rights. This shift cannot come at a more critical time. This lack of protection of indigenous rights hurts the Indonesian and global community. For all citizens, the violation of indigenous rights leads to severely degraded environments and a loss of resources for future generations. For indigenous peoples, landlessness means being subject to state-sanctioned violence evicting them from their homeland and a loss of heritage, culture and way of life, the core of our self-definition and existence. In 2013, the Constitutional Court made ruling number 35, legally defining customary forest as forests inhabited by indigenous peoples, recognizing and returning rights over these forests to indigenous peoples. This ruling affects the preservation of at least 40 million hectares of forest or 30% of Indonesia's total remaining forest. It is an immense achievement for indigenous peoples whose rights to own and manage their territories have been denied for decades. Aman is working to make sure the ruling translates to reality on the ground. Since the late 1990s, Aman has been driving a community mapping initiative across Indonesia. Maps are key in defining areas under contestation and asserting indigenous rights. The government has also recently embarked on creating a single map, agreed upon by all government agencies, of Indonesia's forest area. Integrating maps of indigenous territories is a key part of the government initiative to develop the one map. Up to 6.9 million hectares of indigenous territories have been mapped and 2.4 million hectares has already been included in the one map. Aman aims to complete mapping of at least 40 million hectares of indigenous territories by 2022. Aman works to strengthen the economies of indigenous communities 
based on sustainable management of the particular natural and cultural resources of specific communities. Aman also works to strengthen women through economic empowerment, such as income generating, in accordance with Indigenous knowledge. Around one-third Indonesians have no access to electricity. Most of them are Indigenous peoples. Aman has a renewable energy program to enable Indigenous peoples to be energy sufficient off-grid. Aman uses mass media, especially community radio, to raise awareness on Indigenous peoples' rights and bring Indigenous issues to the fore. A draft bill on the recognition and protection of the rights of Indigenous peoples is undergoing review in the House of Representatives and Aman continues to track its progress. Right, that was Amani, and it's very good to uh, to see when people actually fight for their rights and they get it, because it's very difficult to win over the politicians. But it looks like they've done it, and the environment is what we worry about, really. And let's see what else have we got. Ah, la la, we've been joined by Madam Bush. Madam Claire Bush, afternoon parks, I'm traveling home from the fab last winter, carnival candle torchlight, watching your fab Jankanu. Yes, send us. You didn't send us any of the stuff. There is you are you are, you are our ro roving reporter, right? You are where carnival is. You be there. So the idea is you go there, send us stuff. You are the roving reporter. Thank you. It's enjoy, 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 enjoy. <laughs>